the role of case in conceptual data modeling. As a review, case stands for Computer Aided Software Engineering. It is an automated software tool used by systems analysts to develop information systems. It is used to support or automate activities throughout the system's development lifecycle. Case tools provide two important functions in conceptual data modeling. First, maintaining ER diagrams as a visual depiction of structured data requirements. And second, linking objects and ER diagrams to corresponding descriptions in a repository. Most case tools support one or more of several standard ER diagram notations, such as the crow's foot notation. A case tool will typically allow you to move directly to the repository entry for an object once you select it on an ER diagram. Chapters 8 and 9 structured the process and logic requirements for a new inventory control system for Hoosier Burger. The data flow diagram and decision table describe requirements for this new system. The purpose of this system is to monitor and report changes in raw material inventory levels and to issue material orders and payments to suppliers. After describing the requirements for a new inventory system, we must identify the data entries required in the data model for the new system. The data entries for the system are Inventory item, invoice, invoice item, product, sale, item sale, and recipe. Next, we need to determine the relationships. An invoice includes one or more invoice items, each of which corresponds to an inventory item. Obviously, an invoice item cannot exist without an associated invoice, and over time, there will be zero to many receipts or invoice items for an inventory item. Each product has a recipe of inventory items. Thus, recipe is an associative entry supporting a bill of materials type of relationship between product and inventory item. A sale indicates that who share sells one or more item sales, each of which corresponds to a product. An item sale cannot exist without an associated sale, and over time, there will be zero to many item sales for a product. The figure shows an ER diagram with the entities and relationships described earlier. After having considered all data flows in and out of data stores related to data entities, Plus, all decision and temporal logic related to inventory control, we derive the full ER data model with attributes shown in the figure. 